Hey everybody, Delta Play Gaming back again. We are still playing some Castlevania Lamented Innocence. Uh, we are still inside the Dark Palace of Waterfalls and we are trying to explore more of the area and figure out where the hell we need to go. One set of waterfalls shut down, so we're gonna grab the other one. It looks like, and then hopefully, maybe we'll get through this uh, world, or this you know dungeon today. If not, we're gonna make at least some pretty decent progress. Summer Games Done Quick speedrun event is going on right now, and they just, uh, what was the one I watched? I watched Portrait of the Room, which I like that game. I never finished it. I was, there, was a, there was a certain part in the game where you have to fight, is it Richter Belmont? I think it's, it's either... I think it's Richter Belmont. It's the guy who's in the beginning of Symphony of the Night. The, like, the die, monster. You don't belong in this world. You know, it's either him or it's the very the guy from Castlevania. You have to fight him to get like some like ultimate weapon or some shit like that. I just went the wrong way. Uh, and I always got stuck on him. I don't know. I don't think. I think it was. Not necessarily a mandatory or ness like a you need to get this weapon, but it was one of those like yeah I'm gonna try and get it just because. But yeah, watching the guy who ran it beats the game in 48 minutes, which I mean there's exploits and all sorts of stuff that's in this game that I had no idea. You know, like there were there's a glitch where it allows you basically to use potions infinitely. Uh, there's like this. It's basically this bit where like the one you get this quest. There like you get quests throughout the game. Like one is like buy a potion and a map, or get a map come back and I'll give you some money or whatever. Well, one of them was things like survive a curse. You have to have an enemy curse you and go talk to the guy. And he gives you he gives you a ring. And the ring sells for like 12,000 gold. Alright, I'm getting lost. But it's like this weird, this weird bit where if you um, accept the, or you know, turn in the quest, and it says you got the item, you can cancel back out, and it won't like it won't remove the quest line. So basically, you can redo that infinitely and get you know, multiple of those rings or whatever, and trade them in for thousands and hundreds of thousands of gold. And basically just buy better items because I guess there's like the more that you invest or sell into the merchant the more better items he gets so I don't know it kind of makes me want to like you know charge up and fire up my old DS and just exploit some of that just for the hell of it and then so that's another one they run. They run in the Resident Evil 2 remake, which I'm going to avoid because I haven't, other than a couple of screenshots and a couple of the, like, uh, like early E3 and stuff like that that they were doing coverage on it, 
and the DMX meme that was going around. I haven't seen any of the game. And I want to avoid seeing any of the game because I want to play it, you know, on my own without having any of it spoiled. So. Yeah, I don't know. I always enjoyed watching those speedrun events because that's like... It's kind of interesting to see like some of these games that I love playing run through extremely fast and how they're doing these like tricks and stuff that I mean for me I'll never speedrun like a game at least you know to the qualifications of being a speedrun I might fly through certain games don't get me wrong if I've played them enough like Mario RPG I know how you know, I know where my leveling spots are, where I need to grind and where I don't need to grind. But I mean, overall, that's, it's not a bad, you know. But I'm just saying, like when it comes to some of the speed runs, just watching these guys do this, it just kind of shows me some of these new tricks that I can play for the next time I play the game. Like, like the, what was it? I think they did it actually this year for... I think it was RPG Limit Break or the Awesome Games Dunk Break. They did Mario RPG. And it was run by a female, which is awesome to see more female speedrunners and more female game, like, you know, out in the limelight. But she was doing some of this stuff that, like, I have never seen before. I mean, like, granted, right there's only so much that can really be done in Mario RPG, but it was still kind of like, oh, the next time I play the game, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this little extra tip. Just to kind of improve my next gameplay or my next run through the game. And they've been outside of speed running, but just in the same realm of gaming. Can anybody tell me what the fuck is ET or ET, EA's surprise mechanics bullshit? Like, what the fuck is that? Alright, where's this switch? Alright, that looks like the start. So where the fuck am I needing to go? I can't get past that room. Must be over it must be over on that one little Y area that I haven't explored, but yeah, what is what is it EA's like oh no they're not they're not loot boxes, they're surprise mechanics. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. It's just I don't know, it's just a dumb Like, they're, I don't, I don't know, they're just, they understand that FIFA is their bread maker over every other game, you know, with their FIFA Ultimate Team or whatever, but it's, you know, when the governments are trying to crack down on it and, you know, say, hey, you know what, this is gambling, which it fucking is, they're like, no, no, please don't hurt our wallets. Like, you know what, EA, you've been shitting on companies and players for some time now, and pretty much players are just done. You know, Anthem is just, Anthem's been on life support for, I don't know, the past couple of months. So, I would really hate to see... Bioware gets shut down, but the way that you know, EA runs things would not be good. And, I mean, like, even when I was watching E3 and I saw that uh, the Star Wars... Well, I don't know what the name was, what the new game was called, but, I mean... 
like I'll probably play that game once it goes on sale or once it hits like 20 bucks or you know all the DLC is out or whatever just because I mean I'm just kind of EA has just had such a bad reputation that even though it's like hey we're really still trying here it still just doesn't it's still just kind of a eh I just don't care about EA, EA anymore okay so I got that one And where the hell is this other one? Alright, so I need to look for another room like this. Alright, so let's just keep exploring. Hopefully this won't take me too long to find out where this is. If it does, I'm gonna have to really edit down this video. See, I'm kind of glad that these enemies aren't that annoying compared to like other games where like you're just trying to get through a certain area and avoid combat but they're just like they just gang up on you I cannot remember the last game I played with oh uh, Full Metal Alchemist the those like hard shelled chimeras or whatever the hell they were like that, those guys were just annoying and like, unless I can find some better way of beating them, they're... I don't think they're worth it. I'm assuming they don't have that much experience. But the fact that they only take, like, one and two points of damage, no matter what weapon you have, and they, like... All four of them can just gang up on you and continuously beat on you, it's just kind of... I don't know. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go because I'm set the stairs. That is doing zero damage. Give me that money. Where are you? behind door number one. supposed to go because I do not have this map. I 
him, dude. Oh, I killed him. No, I didn't. There we go. What are you? Black Turtle Key. the one for upstairs. Let's check behind door number two. Alright, Flea Man. Dick. Now I'm locked in. They're not, you know, stingy with the hearts. Oh, what are you? Nope. Oh. Fifty. Oh, can't jump in there, huh? Kill the flea man? 
That's interesting. This way. Another one. Crap. hit each other. Going this way. Let's see what we got. Boss. I'm uh, mid boss. Aha! It's our shadow. Hey, that's an ability I don't have. Where are you at? Thank you. Really? Damn, so none of that shit works. I want that ability. This fight's over. This is not as hard as I was expecting it to be. With all that money that I've been getting from the wizard money, that's pretty much going to go right back into buying all those potions all over. Alright, I think I'm going to end this here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We will figure out the rest of this episode or this dungeon in another episode. Stay awesome.